Hey everyone and welcome back to Frankie's Cantonese Book Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about a very interesting book. It is called The uh, Right Word in Cantonese. It's by um, Quan Choi Hua and this, this is the revised edition. This one came out in 2010. Um, it was written by, again, Quan Choi Hua and she is a professor from the Chinese Language Center which is the best Cantonese school in the world. Um, and according to the back cover of the book, the book is a quick reference for everyday vocabulary with specialized glossaries of material specifically applicable to life in Hong Kong. In this revised edition with a total of 7,800 entries, all information has been updated and new entries have been added, featuring two new sections about how to describe people in major festivals in Hong Kong. This revised edition is complete with English entries and Chinese characters for easy reference. Syllable breaks are added. This title is new, handy, accurate, concise, yet comprehensive dictionary for students of Cantonese and a practical handbook for visitors to Hong Kong. Yes, it totally is. Uh, this book is terrific. Um, the first 134 pages is just a basic dictionary, so I'll, I'll let you take a look at that. Okay, so you can see um, country, which is like a bit dead center, is Guo Ga, and they have the English uh, and then the Yale Romanization in the middle, which is very good, and then the Chinese characters. So it has all three, all within line. Um, you can see crab, that's a dangerous word. Hi, hi. Um, and that's basically it. That's what the dictionary looks like. So there's about 134 pages of a dictionary. And here's where this book gets a little bit interesting. In the second half, it um, goes into a bunch of different issues and all of the information is broken up. So basically it's broken up into, let's see how I can explain this here. Um, basically place names of all the different places in Hong Kong. Um, information about the MTR, uh, different festivals, how to describe your feelings, happy feelings, unpleasant feelings, the weather, uh, your feelings for a person. Uh, what to do, recreation and sports, museums, fine arts, places of interest, Chinese musical instruments, um, what to eat and drink, Cantonese dishes, Chinese tea, dim sum, drinks, fruits, kitchen utensils, way to get help if you're sick, hospitals, parts of the body, um, how to plan for a trip, airline companies, banks, hotels and guest houses, uh, major cities in China, major cities in the world, how to find out what's happening, mass media, magazines, news, newspapers, TV stations and radio stations, um, where to worship in Hong Kong, churches and temples, how education is conducted, higher education institutions, and etc. And not only that, but guess what? It comes with a CD too. And the CD basically teaches you the tones in Cantonese, and it teaches you how to differentiate between words that are pronounced exactly the same but have different tones. Um, is pretty good. Uh, what else? It also has a map of the uh, MTR, which is very updated. I mean, this is from 2010, so it's it's fairly recent. And then the next page it has all the station names in English, Yale Romanization, and Chinese characters. It's, it's terrific. So if you don't know the station name, if you only heard it in Chinese, you can look up all through through look all the different stations. Um, under the Yale Romanization and see if you can find it and then you can match it up with the Chinese characters. That's it. Um, I really like this book. Um, when I was in Hong Kong, I bought this at Commercial Press, actually from the Commercial Press, and I think I paid around 190 something dollars, I think, for it because I had an HSBC credit card. But the full price is 118 Hong Kong dollars, so it's like 12, 13, 14 dollars, I guess you could. I guess you could say. Um, they sell it on Amazon, but Amazon is a little bit more expensive. I think on Amazon it can, it's around 20 and then sometimes it's like 30 or 40 I don't know. But I'll look for some links and I'll post them in the description. I'll post the Amazon link anyway. Um, I really like this book. I think it's very, very good. And um, another interesting thing that it has is there's a really popular video that's going around the internet because in Chinese there's lots of different ways to call each member of your family, like your your mother's brother and your father's brother, um, your uncles, your aunts, your cousins. There's like a million different names to describe every single family member because, you know, back in old China there was people had really big families. And guess what? It's all written down in here. So you can take a look. 
husband of one's younger sister, husband of one's elder sister, elder brother of one's wife, younger brother of one's wife, elder brother of one's husband, younger brother of one's husband. They're all here. There's like five pages. I think they must be... Sixty words, at least seventy words, just describing your family members in Chinese, and they're all here. And there's like the word cousin is here like twenty times. <laughs> so I mean, it's very very useful. Um, you could carry this around with you in Hong Kong, and you would have, I would say, very little difficulty communicating with somebody. You could just go, oh, um, uh, the, there are these things in my house. Oh, how do you say it? And you look up, oh, how do you say mosquito? And you look up, oh, M mosquito. Oh, man. Uh, many man, and it, oh okay, here's some mosquito repellent, you know, and they they could get it. I mean, yeah. So this book is terrific. I really really like this. And the professor who wrote it, the teacher that wrote it, taught at the CLC for a long time. She's not there anymore, um, but she also it says co-authored the Cantonese English Dictionary, textbooks for Cantonese, and authored the book. Old Testament Bible Stories, published by a Chinese language center, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Um, and she's also written a bunch of different articles. And, um, and that's it. Oh, it says she was a, um, taught at the language center from 1975 to 2004. So when I was there, I didn't see her. Um, so that's 20, 28 years, a long time, 28, 29 years. She taught there. Um, so she has a lot of, lot of uh, experience, and she brought it all into this book because this book's really good. If you're the type of person that likes to learn from stories or um, want grammatical explanations, this isn't the book for you. This book is just vocabulary. So if you're a beginner of Cantonese and you're just traveling to Hong Kong on a trip and you just need to know the down and dirty Cantonese that you're going to have to use to survive, you can get this book. All you need to do is memorize how the pinyin system works, how the Yale romanization system works, and... Um, then you got all the information right here. Just carry this around with you. Um, so that's it. So please like my video. Um, I make these videos for you, as I always say at the end of my videos. Um, I appreciate the likes. It makes me know that you're watching and you like what I'm doing. Um, and you can always leave a comment. I love to get comments, and I always reply to people's questions that they post in the description. Either you can comment on my video, on my Facebook page, um, on my blog, whatever. Just find me somewhere and send me a message, and I will always reply. Um, so thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next book review. Until next time, bye-bye.